Oh, look at that. Prince Xavier, brilliant commander. Let's check out his stats, FYI. Look, he's ruthless, which is not good for general opinion, but great for dual skill and fear. Dual, dual skill is six currently. It'll be eight once he's done. So he's a brilliant commander. He's a skilled fighter. He's just, zealous, ambitious, authoritative, and ruthless. So he's going to have the fear thing going on for sure. Okay, I figured I would check in and just uh, let y'all know what was happening currently. We're fighting another Andal invasion. I feel like this is going to continue to happen so long as the Andals are a thing. So, overarching plan, something that we're going to try to do is we're going to... Oh, looks like somebody's already beating me to it. It's probably a slave raid, though. Yeah, slave raid. Slave raid, yeah. So, um, uh, th I think, I don't know if this is even part of the game. It may not be. Like, it may just be impossible, and there may just always be end all invasions. But uh, I think if we conquer Andalos, then we won't have to deal with it anymore. So, it's really not that big of a deal right now. We're to a point where we have good enough opinions from our vassals, and we have a strong enough kingdom that we can survive you know, what they're throwing at us. It's the multiple ones. It's whenever you don't deal with one and, the, and another one comes up, that really starts to, to make things difficult. So um, this one, we outnumber them, you know, almost three to one. And uh, we should just be able to, to smash them. Huh. Somebody tried to kidnap one of my courtiers. So now we should just be able to chase this guy down. He's going to River Run, and uh, then we should be good after we chase them down. The other thing is that winter has finally come to an end, and we are able to build again, which I'm excited about, because we're almost to the point where we can have... I'm actually going to... They leave on July... F oh, we get there on the 2nd. That's fine. Um, see, look, here's another one. Oh, no. It's a, it's a peasant revolt. So we'll go take care of that. This one we can, uh, where is it? There we go. This one we can end right now. And then let's find out where that peasant revolt is. Oh, it's all the way down there. Okay. So we'll just start marching. Start marching south. Take care of that. And then uh, there's a couple of bigger armies down here that the Storm King is struggling with that I'll have to, have to deal with for him, I suppose. Um, and then we can see about ransoming the prisoners that we have. I don't I don't want prisoners in my court. Uh, I can add a new bodyguard. We can add a couple of different uh, event or uh, special titles. And Master of the Horse can go to who has the lowest opinion of me vassal wise? Lord of Mossboro. Who has the second lowest opinion? Kingspire Tower, I don't care about that. Robert Huddle, High Almoner. Um, that's my wife. <laughs> and then those are all my courtiers. There we go. My cup bearer can be uh, my best friend. Who's that guy? Bennett of Adadale. Court Tutor, who has the highest learning. Tilly Gardner, that's fine. All that looks good now. Okay, so all of those minor titles have been dished out. I'm happy with that. There are claims to be pressed, but we're going to end up in the same situation as what we've had before, which is where we just basically switched kings in Black in the Blackwood Vale. Um, and basically, we don't want to do that. We want to land whatever courtier has the claim and then try to press that claim. The problem is we're also trying to land our custom courtier, which obviously takes higher precedence because there are other ways to gain another kingdom. So, um, yeah, it's going to take us a little bit to be able to get that claim all the way done. Look, this guy is from Strong Song up in the... I think that's up here somewhere. You know, release, you can repay me later. And Oh, you died. Okay, that's fine. There must be some kind of culling on Andal 
people. I didn't really want the favor, I just don't want him taking up space in my court. So yeah, that's currently where we're at. I think since winter has ended, even though we're in war right now, let's go ahead and start building. We're going to build the next level of Castle Town. That actually puts us at 4 of 5. It's exciting. And we'll need to do guard stations next because we'll need the next level of guard stations to do the next level of modest estates to do the next level of Castle Town. So there's a couple of different things going on there that we'll have to take care of before we can actually press forward all the way. But level 4 is going to be great. We'll be able to... Um, do the the tax modifier very very well at that point get a lot of gold really quickly there oh crap see this is the problem with leading the armies and I do have to I do have to accept but I do have good bodyguards I think look he ran off awesome yeah, this is why I need good bodyguards. That's that's going to be another priority is getting some some good guys to uh, to guard the king. We're going to assault the holding right there. Yep. Peasant revolt is over. Now we can go down here and start to help out. Who's this guy? Oh, he's the peasant leader. I can't. Oh, I can't. I don't know why I can't banish them. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know why. I'll be merciful and do whatever. But even still, like I don't know why I can't. Like he's gonna go all the way. Yeah, over there. Okay, so we'll break these sieges. Right now. And then we should be good to uh, attack that larger army. Actually, we may want to do that now. This guy can break sieges for all I care. To be honest with you. And then we'll... Uh, yeah, we'll be able to take care of that pretty easily, I think. What's going to take us a second to get there, but once we do, we should be fine. Manfred died. We needed a new master of coin. Quentin of Blackwood. That's fine. All right. Let's continue, and uh, we'll check back in just a second. Okay, guys, I had to check back in. It's not that long after the last clip, but this pop-up came. Your Grace, I've been instructing young Xavier... In the ways of the sword and lance as requested. I'm pleased to say that he appears to be a natural. His martial prowess has improved greatly over recent weeks. So he gains the skill, or he gains skilled fighter, which is better than what we are. He's zealous. He's just. Uh, I need to take him. I need to be his guardian. Because he could actually have ambitious or brave, and then he could also have proud, which is perfect. And a uh, great martial stat already. Doesn't have a very good base. Um, hopefully that improves kind of as we go forward. But for somebody without congenital traits, he'll have brilliant commander because of his learning. And then the learn. I mean, Tilly Gardner is great. But I uh, have been doing this right here. Uh, I've been having my master at arms train the children, and he is a formidable fighter. So hopefully that works out great to where. Um, maybe there's a chance Savior could be a formidable fighter. And then we have that in our our lineage. We have that in our, uh, in our family. And we'll be able to kind of continue to do that as we go forward. I'm, I'm really excited about that. So hopefully, hopefully that goes well. Let's see what happens in this next battle. What in the world is happening right now? I don't understand. Okay, so I was going to take over um, 
being the guardian of Prince Xavier, but this girl's doing just fine. I mean, he has the potential to become a formidable fighter. I can't help him anymore with that, so there's no point in me being there. Um, he's just, zealous, ambitious, and then he has the chance. This is going to be the hard one. Proud, arbitrary, cruel, or ruthless. Um, cruel and ruthless are okay. They'll be very negative vassal opinions. But they'll be really good in, in combat. Proud is probably going to be the best one, I think, out of, out of all of them. Um, so we'll see how that ends up. I'm excited. I mean, look at the stats on this. Base of nine learning, just and ambitious give him twelve, so he'll have a he'll have twelve learning even after his education's over. He has nine intrigue, ten stewardship, fourteen martial, and ten diplomacy right now. That's fantastic. And even Prince Aegon's doing well. I actually chose the stewardship education for him um, because he has the the traits for it. Um, I mean, twelve stewardship. This guy could be another great character. So we have two great sons, potentially, um, in the Kingdom of the Woods. So, I don't know, guys. I think I think things are going pretty well, even without the congenital traits that these guys could have had. We can marry them into um, families that have good congenital traits, basically. So, yep. And we're still fighting this war down in the Stormlands. I feel like this is going to be a theme as long as they're kings, unfortunately. Okay, here we go. I think I figured this out. So, my wife has a strong claim on the kingdom of the Bay of Claws. And uh, we're kind of past the point where she's going to have any more kids. We have some, you know, we have a good heir. We have a good um, second son. So, I think we're going to go ahead and claim the Bay of Claws for her. And uh, then our son inherits that on her death. And also inherits the kingdom of uh, the woods on you know, his inheritance, or as part of his inheritance. So, um, we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to declare that war. They do have 3,000 men stacked right there. Uh, we don't have enough right here, but we will very shortly. We, yeah, we have enough right there to help supplement. So, we'll move them to here just to kind of very quickly get our men in one spot. Um, 1,000 men from the Riverlands. Or from River Run. Uh, 1700 from Castlewood or Acorn Hall. And then another 1700 from Rosby. Okay, so that should be good for right now. Um, yeah, we do need a better maester than Oswell. Oh, God. Heck yeah. You're, you're my new maester, my friend. Okay, so all of these guys are going to close in and move in. Uh, we already have enough men to start attacking. Um, I don't know if... Is that... Oh, that's a different... That's not even... We're not even in war against that. Oh, look, and we get a claim on Blackwood. Uh, yep, of course we're going to use it. Okay, so our 10,000 men are right there. We need to march over to Maidenpool. So Maidenpool is currently dealing with the claim, the Andal invasion. Uh, let's siege down. Uh, it is not her fault. It is not his fault. There is no one of value to take. This guy's in hiding. So it's about as... Uh, we're going to continue. We're going to assault that holding. Oh, look at that. Prince Xavier, brilliant commander. Let's check out his stats, FYI. Look, he's ruthless, which is not good for general opinion, but great for dual skill and fear. Dual, dual skill is six currently. It'll be eight once he's done. So he's a brilliant commander. He's a skilled fighter. He's just, zealous, ambitious, authoritative and ruthless. So he's going to have the fear thing going on for sure. I wonder if we can become a dragon rider with him. That's amazing. Look at those stats. Excellent. Okay, so the other thing that I know we need to do is we I think we have somebody in our court that has claims on the Dusklands, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, 
but I inherited the Kingspire Tower from one of my courtiers or from one of my vassals. So I think what I need to do is I need to go in and I need to um, give that person, whoever has those claims, the that little barony down in Bear Hall. And then whenever we press the claims, we should end up with enough... of a claim to press. Uh, I don't remember who it was though. The alternative is I could give it to Tilly Gardner and she has strong claims on the Kingdom of the Reach, which is actually an empire tier title. And that's the alternative. I have to decide who I actually want to do that for. Let me, let me think about it for just a second and then we'll figure it out. I guess I was lying. I couldn't find anybody with claims on the Duskland in my court. So maybe they just left at some point. I'm not sure. But in either case, I'm going to give this uh, lordship to... Um, oh, I can't because she's a woman. Yikes. Okay. So that makes it even more difficult. I'm going to hold on to it for right now. I, I really don't want to give it to my son, but uh, I'm going to hold on to it for right now. Maybe find somebody else that has a claim and uh, land them before pressing that claim. So... Yeah, we have a lot of stuff to decide up here that we got to do. Um, we got to pick an ambition, first of all. If we choose to win the war, it doesn't do anything. I still haven't found that uh, build war chest or expand realm by conquest. I don't know why. It doesn't really matter. We're about to have the kingdom title that I want, I think. Uh, let's do fall in love. Oh, we might as well. I know we've decided that a couple of different times, but... Um, Unfortunately, we haven't been able to do much on that front. We've always had something else going on, you know. Um, unmarried heir, so we'll have to do that. We're currently pressing the claim for the kingdom. Okay, so have all that down. We're going to continue to... We're going to assault the holding now here. We're going to siege his county all the way down. There we go. That gives us 34% war score. And we're going to head up to Darkmoor, I think, would be the next thing. And then we should be able to... I, I mean, I really don't want to have to fight his Andal invasion, but I guess we're going to have to at some point anyways. If we inherit, don't you think? There's two... Hugo's host and Danwell's host. So if we don't, if if we don't um, defeat these armies, then we're gonna have to fight them as soon as we come back in, or as soon as we we take the title. So we might as well at least weaken them now, so that we don't have as much to deal with go, uh, going forward. We're not gonna assault the holding. Directly, we're gonna wait it out, and we're gonna take the long, <laughs> we're gonna take the long route at least for the first level. Um, I've had those go very poorly, trying to assault the holdings um, too quickly. Anyways, so once we siege that down, looks like we have Steward's Tower built in Bear Hall. Let's see what the next the, the next step is. So we can build modest estates. Yes, let's do that. And that'll go to level four. Yeah. So we'll do that, and then that'll give us enough to be able to do Castle Town level five, which we'll need 600 gold for, but will significantly, significantly improve our tax revenue. So 84% during the sea or for the Siege of Burning Heath. There we go. We're suffering some attrition, so I'm going to actually back off. We're going to go here to the salt pans. We should be able to siege this down. We did? Okay, cool. We're gonna attack this guy, Hugo of Hugo's Host. We're gonna move this way. We can, uh, looks like we had somebody die. Oh, our regent died. That's okay, we're gonna do our son. Where's our son at? There he is. Prince Xavier is going to be our regent. He needs the practice anyways. Okay, 
So the Storm King won his war. We're gonna we're gonna undo these sieges that the Andals have, and we're instead we're gonna take them because I don't want him to lose his war to the Andals. Then our claim would go away. What? Are you kidding me? Died of poor health. Oh, what in the world, guys? You know, it's always something. You get so excited about something. Ugh. Fine. Our friend can be our regent. God. I can't flip and believe that. So now we only have one son who's still going to be good. Don't get me wrong. But isn't going to have any of the warrior traits. So we're definitely going to have to do most of our expansion now. And then we can we can begin our rulership or whatever um, with our next son. Yeah. That's going to have to be our it's going to have to be the way that we handle things. Died of poor health. I can't believe that. I can't sting and believe that, guys. Can you? I mean... And then we have Aegon. The other Aegon. Who... I mean, could be great, and at least has the High Valyrian looks to him. But we don't have a daughter to marry him to, so we're gonna have to get a. We're gonna have to find a good match for him that's High Valyrian to kind of keep that all, in the, in the realm here. Man, we lost a lot of men there. Assaulting the holding. I have to do it again. Okay. So that puts us at seventy-one percent war score here. We're gonna have to keep on going. We have an advisor position. Let's do Jason of Langward Hall. Red Fork we occupy, but we don't occupy these two up here. These Andal invasions are like crushing the kingdoms around ours. Wow, so he also has Blue Fork, and he wasn't there. That we're getting close now to having 100% war score. And once we get close, I think we should be able to like offer offer peace and enforce demands, and he'll accept even if we're not at 100%. We should be. Look at this. We surrender under these terms. Good. Awesome. Offer to join war. And then I have to do this one as well, right? No, I, I can't. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to break these sieges for her. See, now I'm fighting, like, I'm fighting wars for my wife, for my buddy down in the, uh, in the Stormlands, and for House Bear. Okay, uh, at least we're, we're on, there's a, there's a Williams host down in the south that we have to worry about. And there's Eric's host war on the Stormlands that will... Man. Okay, so we built large estates. 
Okay. Dan Wells host and Oh look, it's only this guy that we have to worry about right now. But there's three currently. Okay, he is going to the bloody gate. I don't know if I want to chase him all the way up into the veil. In fact, I know I don't want to chase him all the way up into the veil. But I'm going to anyways, I suppose. Okay, winter is coming. That gives us a chance to, to accrue some gold. He's going to Moon's Gray here. Okay. Um, that gives us a chance to acquire some gold. Yikes. The pressure of commanding a whole unit is killing me. The ones I have to command are lazy good-for-nothing soldiers, but I had endured their incompetence until one of them managed to lose my horse's bridle and saddle. It was the last drop, and then I screamed at them. Bear Hall is prosperous. My brother, Prince Atreus, is suffering from food poisoning. He married a lowborn girl. Okay, so we're all the way, like seriously, we're all the way up in the veil. My vassal usurped Blackwood Vale. Does that mean we lost land too? It does. I think we had Fair Market, didn't we? Oh no. Blackwood Vale got added, like the county of Blackwood Vale got added to our kingdom, not the kingdom title. I get it. So he has the Kingdom of Blackwood, the High Lordship of Blackwood, and the Lordship of Martlet Bay. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to declare war on him right now. And I think it would be breaking a truce if we did anyway, so... Alright, so we should... This battle right here, good, gives her 100% war score. And now we need to head back down into here... Uh, be merciful to this guy. Doesn't matter because she should offer peace. Good. And then now we can offer to join her other war. Right? Is she fighting? No, she's not. She's not fighting any more wars. All right. Oh, God. Look at our air. Oh, no. Oh, this is the worst thing ever. Ever. 